Hello everybody, this is Petey from Berserk Arcade at BerserkArcade.net and here we are back again with another video for our item system code along. And today I want to go ahead and address an issue that we have, I guess more specifically how to track down the problem. I get a lot of these questions about um, certain fields aren't working or something like that and basically this is how I go through on figuring out what's wrong with them. So if we take a look here, our damage field is not working yet. And I'm going to go ahead and come down to the database itself. And I'm looking at fan, and according to this, I have a min damage of one, but it's displaying zero. I'm actually gonna go ahead and change it. Uh, let's make it really big. We'll go ahead, we'll save, and it is saving to the database, so that's working. But when we go to click on it, it's still not loading up properly. At least it appears not to be loading up properly. So let's go ahead and start tracking this down and figuring out what's wrong with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and close it. And the first thing I wanna do is address, well, how does it actually get over here? Well, it's when we click on the list view. So we'll start there. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the code. We have the list view here. Not a very big script. All it does is just go through and display all the items in the list. And then when we click one, it grabs it. And right here where we're taking the temp weapon and assigning the one we clicked onto it, right under that, I'm gonna throw in a debug statement. And I wanna take a look at that value that we're not looking at. So if we come over to the weapon, and we're going to have to come down to the on GUI part to see what field that is. Uh, it's the damage one. So it's displaying the min damage. And if you're not sure which one it is, all you have to do is come in, start it back up, and just count down. Now I know this first batch, it grabs from the base. So if we go ahead and take a look at it over here, we're grabbing the base, so you'd have to go count all those two. I know that includes all of these because every item is going to have these and the quality as well. So the first one that's specific to just weapons will be this damage. And that is the min damage field. I'm going to go ahead and close this because I am editing the scripts. Then I'll come back into the list view. And that's what I want to shoot out. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the min damage and just debug log that out. See if it's even loading properly because we know it's saving properly, but it doesn't seem to be loading properly. So when I start it up, I go ahead and click fan, and I'm getting zero, so it's, it's not even loading properly. So let's go ahead and take a look to see how it loads that up. So we'll come in, and this is the method up here, so we're creating a new IS weapon, and we're just telling it what index to grab. So I'm coming to the IS weapon. Actually, can we just right click here and go to decoration? Yes, we can. And it comes down here, and it goes into the clone method. And clone down here says, go ahead, grab the base weapon, or sorry, base item, call its clone. So it's gonna clone all of that, and then go through and clone all of these things. Basically taking you know, what we're loading up and assigning it to these values here. Now I can already see what the problem is. It's in this function. And to be honest, well, I'm gonna delay just a bit here, just so uh, we can look at a few more ways to debug stuff. But we're going ahead, we're, we're calling this here. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if we're actually loading it up from here. So again, I'm gonna do a debug.log and I'm actually gonna put the name of the method in here as well, just so I know what debug log statement this is. And I'll append onto that the weapon dot min damage. I'll go ahead, I'll make sure we get that semicolon at the end. Let's save that off. I'm gonna go clear that even though it auto clears automatically for me. OCD. And if we click, well, it is loading properly but for some reason, it's not passing it on. You see the problem yet? Let's go ahead, we'll close this off. We'll jump back into the script. So we know the problem happens after this line because before this line, it's there. It's, it, it is loading it up good, it, good. It is loading it up for us, but it's after this and before and before this. Well, we know after this and before the other one, we're into this function. So we can go ahead and move this here. So I'll put it in right there. And basically what I'm doing is I'm just trying to narrow down where the the unexpected behavior is happening. So if we go ahead and start it up, I'm gonna go ahead and clear this again. And we're still getting the, the proper loading, but we're still not getting the value. So let's close that off. That means it's before this line, which is when we call the clone down here, but it's after this line here. So that means it has to actually be in this little block of code here. So, does anyone see what the problem is? A little bit of a pause. 
Well, the problem is we're actually not assigning it. If we actually went up here and counted the variables, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. We missed it. We forgot to actually assign it. So we can say min damage is equal to weapon dot min damage. And I'll go ahead and save that off. And I'm actually going to get rid of it. Well, we'll get rid of the, the line after. The debug line. And we'll go ahead. We'll start this back up. And now when we hit fan, it loads. Just as we expected. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to get rid of the debug statements. And I noticed there was one other thing in here that I wanted to change. Uh, right here, we're using uh, system.convert to int32. And Unity actually has, uh, instead of a text field, has an int field. We're just going to go ahead and use those. So I'm just going to do it on a new line. So min damage is going to be equal to editor GUI. Uh, yeah, it's in the layout. And it's an int field. And if we take a look here at a few different options we have, let's go ahead, we'll do it this way here. So the six different options. I want one that has the string. Well, I want it just to be like the other. I want one that has a string for the label and then followed up by my actual value. So that says the value. This one has a label and a value and the parameters, they're optional. So this is the one we want. Number two, I do like to go through and look at the rest. Actually, it's number three we want. So, well, it's number three that I want. You can go ahead if you want to go ahead and use GUI content. By all means, knock yourself out. I want number three. I just want to keep it simple. Uh, well, we could style it, but I'm not worried about that. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and use number three myself. So, we start that off with a string. And I want it to be just like the other one. And I'll go ahead, put in the min damage field. And that's it. I want to go ahead and save this off. I've only done the one so far, but I want to save it off, come in and test, see what the behavior is like. No point in switching. Whoops. Okay, I thought I opened it wrong. I want to go ahead and switch them all over and find out I don't like it. All right, so we're down here to the min field. If we go ahead and try to put a letter in there, or anything but a number, I don't know if you can hear me frantically clicking away on the keyboard here, it won't work. But numbers do. And you don't have to worry about converting it. You don't have to worry about any of the errors. If you're working with numbers, use the int field. Sorry, I apologize. I forgot about the int field last time we went through this, but there's just so many. Luckily, someone pointed it out. Actually, a lot of you pointed it out, but we're finally getting around to fixing it. So I'm going to go ahead and save it. Hit update it here. And let's go ahead and shoot those other ones over. So just because I'm lazy, I'm going to copy them. Then we can just not worry about the typos. Grab the durability here. All right, and we'll just change this. Durability. Uh, this is actually min durability. Did I really call it min and max? Well, we're doing it anyway. Or mix. <laughs> All right, so we got that done. Uh, let me see, we got the num pop up. I think that's it for this part. The main focus of this tutorial is I just want to quickly show how to debug some of these errors. I do get a lot of questions about this. And it's always good to be able to track down your own errors. So we'll come in. Uh, I'm going to take a look at the value and burden as well. We might want to switch those over. And I might take a look at prefab over here too. So go ahead. Sure enough, hitting number keys or anything but number keys does not work. What about a formula? Will this work? Let's go ahead. We'll take a look. We're doing the max durability. I know some Unity fields allow that. And it does work. So you can actually enter a formula. And one little quick tip. If you go ahead and enter, I believe it's I and F. Oh, we can't do it here. Uh, I believe it was I and F for infinity. If you wanted something to go to infinity, that was the way to do it. But since you can't enter letters, you can't do it here. I'll have to check that out in one of the other fields. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the prefabs here. I'll close that down, jump back into Unity. Uh, come down to where the prefab is being loaded, which is right here. And it's an object field, which is what I wanted. I was just wondering if I could get a much prettier display out of the box like this. But that's fine. Let's go ahead and we'll open up the objects. And we'll come down here. And we have the exact same thing here for value and burden. 
So let's go ahead and we'll switch those over. And I think I still have, whoops, I think I still have it. Uh, no, I don't. I think I still have it in copy paste, but I don't. So it's going to be equal to editor GUI layout dot int field. Then we want the string and then we want the value, which in this case actually is the variable value. We'll go ahead and we're going to say value. Uh, I just like to copy and paste. I make too many typos otherwise. <laughs> Sucks to get old and get arthritic fingers. But hey, you live and you get through it. All right, so we'll get rid of those. We'll save that off again. I uh, just to test to make sure I don't have any errors. And I did something wrong. Um, I think I just started up this when you get these errors here and the first one you click on it doesn't actually go anywhere the second one brings you here chances are you've just started it up before unity had a chance to recompile all the scripts so we'll go ahead we'll start that back up and we click and sure enough I can no longer enter anything but numbers up there great uh, everything else is working so I guess in the next video, we're actually going to start spotting these things in game. We're going to create a, a demo scene. Uh, let me just take a look here. Uh, let me see. We already have scenes. We already have a demo scene. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and create a driver script, which will just go ahead and go into the database, start grabbing these items. We'll just grab one at random and just start throwing them into the game world. Actually, we don't have that many in there, do we? It's a good idea just to not have that many so we can just make buttons to spawn each one. And then we can go through and set different values for each one. Just to make sure all the values are spawning properly. But yeah, I want to go ahead and create a script. We click a button. It shoots one of these things out into the game world. It's just going to lay there. We're not going to interact with it. But we are going to learn how to spawn them in the world. That we can later on write scripts to interact with them then. But anyway, as always, hopefully this helps you out. At least with the debugging part of why certain fields aren't working for you. And I guess we'll see everyone in the next video. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.